Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome, I'm Jonathan. This is my Amazon selling channel, Duke Does Amazon. Today's video, I basically wanna walk you through start to finish the process of opening an account and sending in your products to Amazon. We are gonna do this in a very, very broad stroke just so you get complete overview so you can understand what the flow is to sell on Amazon, basically, okay? I do want to preface, I primarily do retail arbitrage, um, so that's what we're going to basically speak to the most. That is simply going to brick and mortar stores, buying tangible products, and selling them on Amazon. There's other ways to source products like what is called online arbitrage, wholesale, private label. Uh, as far as fulfillment, getting it to the customer, I use what is called fulfillment by Amazon. The only other fulfillment option is fulfillment by merchant. That's more of like eBay where you send the customer the items directly and you store them at your home. So again, retail arbitrage, Amazon FBA is primarily how I um, do Amazon. And so that's what I'm gonna speak to the most, but just know there's other ways to do this as well. All right, so other than that, really quick, I wanna mention, I only have three subscriptions that I use on a monthly basis. Inventory Lab, Keepa, and a repricer, okay? I'm not gonna dive into those today. I'm gonna dive into all of these topics in much greater detail with time. This is just to paint the picture on a broad level. All right, so let's get started. First things first, you're gonna sell, sign up for a pro seller account, okay? If you have an Amazon account where you buy things from, this is not that. You need to sign up for a pro seller account. It'll ask you for your information. You'll have to decide on which membership structure you wanna go with. Keep in mind, you can always change it. I always say, go with whatever is the path of least resistance to get started. You can always upgrade from there. So first things first, you're gonna sign up, you're gonna get approval, that could take a week or two. All right, now what? You have an account. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna have on your phone the Amazon Seller app, okay? And with that, there's a feature that you can scan barcodes and it'll pull that information from Amazon and you can see what it's selling for. You can enter your cost of that product and you can also factor in Amazon fees. So I would take that app, scan everything in your house to get familiar with it, go to Target, go to Walmart, check out all these clearance sections. Don't get fixated on making money as much as just understanding how the app works, okay? So okay, so now you find profitable items, great. How do you know that they're actually selling? How do you know how many to buy? How do you know how much competition there is? Is this a seasonal item? What has it historically sold for? What's the highest it sold for, the lowest? Stuff like that, that's why I have Keepa, okay? That's a conversation for another day. There are other context clues if you don't have that, like sales rank, um, like ratings, reviews, stuff of that nature. So you're gonna find profitable items. You want to make sure that it's ranked well, that it's going to sell, and now you take everything home. Once you're home, there's a variety of ways to do this. But basically, you're gonna go on Amazon, if that's what you're using, you're gonna create a shipment, process all of your items, let Amazon know you're sending these in, and now you're gonna print out a UPS label because Amazon has a relationship with them, you pay pennies on the dollar, and you ship everything to Amazon, okay? You can fill up a traditional like Home Depot box, a moving box, you can use recycled boxes. This isn't going to the customer, this is going to Amazon. You ship them everything, right? From there, Amazon is going to check in your products, okay? Once they're checked in and they go live on Amazon, your product is listed as Prime. And once it sells, Amazon's gonna pick it, Amazon's gonna pack it, Amazon's gonna ship it, Amazon's gonna deal with customer service, Amazon's gonna take a nice healthy fee for doing all of this. Again, this is what's referred to as fulfillment by Amazon. And I think what I love about it is it's so scalable and that also you send everything to them, you're not storing product at your house amongst many other things, okay? So now, once it's there, it's basically rinse and repeat at this point. The only thing is, once your product is live, it's on you to manage the pricing to make sure that it has a chance of being sold. There's something that's called the buy box. The buy box is basically where 90 plus percent of the sales take place. Think of that little section on a screen where it says buy now or add to cart. Naturally, if you think about it as a customer, that's the easiest, most seamless way to buy something. You may not even know there's other options. So in order to be in the buy box, 
you have to make sure that your price is appropriate along with doing some other things right. It's not necessarily hard. If you don't have a repricer, you're gonna have to check throughout the day because the price constantly changes like the stock market. Um, and if you do invest in a repricer, you basically set a minimum and a maximum and it'll move the price for you on your behalf without you having to do it. And that's why once you get going, I think it's so vital you do get one. But that's really it guys, start to finish, signing up, then you just kind of repeat that cycle time and time and time again. Uh, if something doesn't sell, you can always request it back from Amazon at no cost. Um, you can cut your losses, sell it for a loss or just minimal profit, whatever the case may be. Nothing's the end of the world if you make a bad buy. Just keep learning, stay consistent with it. That's the, my, my, my send off note is this. Take action, stay consistent and have the right mentality. We are literally given an opportunity to ride Amazon's coattails to hundreds of millions of active customers, prime eligible products, making life changing money, it's simple, it's not easy, it's hard work, but it's not rocket science. I can do this, anybody else can do this, okay? I'm not this tech savvy guru, I work hard, but basically it's buying low and selling high. It's not gonna happen overnight. Stick with it, have the right mindset, control what you can control, focus on the good of Amazon, which is far better than the few like bad imperfections, and keep it moving. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this helps paint the picture on a broad scale. Like I said, we'll deep dive into all of this stuff um, at a later point. So uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know below. Other than that, Duke does Amazon on Instagram and we'll have Duke sign off with a little power nap action in front of all that shipment going out today. So take care guys, have a good one. I had to find my remote.